Praise Lord. Now let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful time, Lord. Even now we are going to read your heavenly words once again, Lord. When we are reading, talk with us, talk all the truth and promises that you have going to give, give us. And when we are reading your words, let us understand everything hidden in it, so that we may meditate on it day and night. Help us and guide us and be with us from the beginning till the end. In the name of Jesus, I ask. Amen. Now let us continue reading Psalms chapter 133. Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, that went down to the skirts of his garments, like the dew of Hermon and like the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. Psalms chapter 134 Behold, bless ye the Lord, all ye servants of the Lord, who by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary, and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth, bless thee out of Zion. Psalms 135 Praise ye the Lord, praise ye the name of the Lord. Praise him, O ye servants of the Lord. Ye who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of a God, praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing praises unto his name, for it is pleasant. For the Lord hath chosen Jacob unto himself, and Israel for his peculiar treasure. For I know that the Lord is great, and that our Lord is above all gods. Whatsoever the Lord pleased, that did he in heaven, and in earth, in the seas, and all deep places. He causeth the vapors to ascend from the ends of the earth. He maketh lightnings for the rain. He bringeth the wind out of his treasuries. Who smote the firstborn of Egypt, both of man and beast? Who sent signs and wonders into the midst of thee, O Egypt, upon Pharaoh and upon all his servants? Who smote great nations and slew mighty kings? Sihon, king of the Morites, and Od, king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan and gave their land for an heritage, and heritage unto Israel his people. Thy name, O Lord, endureth forever, and thy memorial, O Lord, throughout all generations. For the Lord will judge his people, and he will repent himself concerning his servants. The idols of the nations are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not, neither is there any breath in their mouths. They that make them are like unto them, so is every one that trusteth in them. Bless the Lord, O house of Israel, bless the Lord, O house of Aaron, bless the Lord, O house of Levi, ye who fear the Lord, bless the Lord. Blessed be the Lord out of Zion, who dwelleth at Jerusalem, praise ye the Lord. Psalms 136 Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks unto the God of gods, for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endureth forever. To him who alone doeth great wonders, for his mercy endureth forever. To him who by wisdom made the heavens, for his mercy endureth forever. To him who stretched out the earth above the waters, for his mercy endureth forever. To him he who made great lights, for his mercy endureth forever. The sun to rule by day, for his mercy endureth forever. The moon and stars to rule by night, for his mercy endureth forever. To him who smote Egypt in their firstborn, for his mercy endureth forever. And brought out Israel from among them, for his mercy endureth forever. With a strong hand and with an outstretched arms, for his mercy endureth forever. To him who divided the Red Sea into parts, for his mercy endureth forever. And made Israel to pass through the midst of it, for his mercy endureth forever. But overthrew Pharaoh and his host in the Red Sea, for his mercy endureth forever. To him who led his people to the wilderness, for his mercy endureth forever. To him who smote great kings, for his mercy endureth forever. And slew famous kings, for his mercy endureth forever. Sihon, king of Amorites, for his mercy endureth forever. 
and O the king of Bashan, for his mercy endured forever, and gave their land for an heritage, for his mercy endured forever, even an heritage unto Israel, his servant, for his mercy endured forever, who remembered us in our low estate, for his mercy endured forever, and hath redeemed us from our enemies, for his mercy endured forever, who giveth food to all flesh, for his mercy endured forever. O give thanks unto the God of heaven, for his mercy endureth forever. Psalms 137 By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down, yea, we wept, be remembered Zion. We hung our harps upon the willows in the midst thereof, for there they had carried us away captive, required of us a song, and they that wasted us required of us mirth, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a foreign land? If I forget thee, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget her cunning. If I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth, if I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy. Remember, O Lord, the children of Adam in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. Psalms 138 I will praise thee with my whole heart. Before the gods will I sing praise unto thee. I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. In the day when I cried, thou answerest me, and strengthenest me with strength in my soul. All the kings of the earth shall praise thee, O Lord, when they hear the words of thy mouth. Yeah, they shall sing in the ways of the Lord, for great is the glory of the Lord. To the Lord he be high, yet had he respect unto the lowly, but the proud he knoweth afar off. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me, thou shalt stretch off forth thine hand against the wrath of mine enemies, and thy right hand shall save me. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me, thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Forsake not the works of thine own hands. Psalms 139 O Lord, thou hast searched me and known me, thou knowest my down sitting and mine uprising, thou understandest my thought afar off, thou compassest my path and my lying down, and art acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Lord, thou knowest it altogether. Thou hast beset me behind and before, and laid thine hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain unto it. Whither shall I go from thy spirit, or whither shall I flee from thy presence? If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in Sheol, behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. If I say, Surely the darkness shall cover me, even the night shall be light about me. Yeah, the darkness hideth not from thee, but the night shineth as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to thee. For thou hast possessed my inward parts, thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise thee. For I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. My substance was not hidden from thee, when I was made in secret, and intricately wrought the lowest parts of the earth. Thine eyes did see my substance, yet being unformed, and in thy book all my members were written, which in continuance were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I should count them, they are more in number than the sand. When I awake, I am still with thee. Surely thou wilt slay the wicked, O God! Depart from me, therefore, ye bloody men! For when they speak against thee wickedly, and thine enemies take thy name in vain, do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? I am not I grieved with those who rise up against thee? 
I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them my enemies. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Psalms 140 Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man, and preserve me from the violent man, who imagine mischiefs in their heart. Continually are they gathered together for war. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent. Ador's poison is under their lips, Selah. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked, and preserve me from the violent men, who have purposed to overthrow my goings. The proud have hidden a snare for me and cords. They have spread a net by the wayside. They have set traps for me. Selah. I said unto the Lord, Thou art my God. You are the voice of my supplications, O Lord. O God, the Lord, the strength of my salvation. Thou hast covered my head in the day of battle. Grant not, O Lord, the desires of the wicked. For the not his wicked device, lest they exalt themselves. Selah. As for the head of those who compass me about, let the mischief of their own lips cover them. Let burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into the fire, into deep pits, that they rise not up again. Let not an evil speaker be established in the earth. Evil shall hunt the violent men to overthrow him. I know that the Lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted and the right of the poor. Surely the righteous shall give thanks unto thy name. The upright shall dwell in thy presence. Amen. Prayer Heavenly Father, we thank you for helping us to read your heavenly manna even now, Lord. We thank you for giving us so many promises throughout the chapters that we read us now. We read so many times that your mercy endureth forever. Even now we stand here and we read your verse is because your mercy did endure it throughout our life. Let your mercy continue to carry out our life through and through. And let our enemies also be blessed, not cursed. They may know that you love them as you loved us. Help us to spread your gospel everywhere we go. Thank you for giving us your heavenly manna. In Jesus' name I ask, Amen.